How's it gaming? I'm Phil the Blanks and we are back with Donkey Kong Country 2. We are in Haunted Hall, another really great idea for a level design. This is actually just a reskin of the uh, roller coaster areas in the last world, except now it's all like a library. It's all spooky, spooky library, which is a great idea for a level. But basically, it's another mine cart level, which makes me happy. Except now you have a friggin' scary ass pirate ghost chasing after you with the time limit, and you must hit the uh, little plus barrels and none of the minus barrels. Well, you can hit one or two, I guess. But adds time or takes away time. I want to go there. Ah, yes. <laughs> Avoid that first bonus level to get that second bonus level. That was happening so fast I could barely talk about it while it was happening. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So, basically just get to the, the token. And this is a cool idea. I like this a lot. Oh. And boink. And then just jump. Oh, oh almost didn't make that. Yeah. And then you just kind of fed back out the entrance. And what's super cute and clever about this is whoop, and now in the other one. That's such a great hidden bonus level. I really like it. One of my favorites in the entire game. The idea is just too good. Here is get as many stars as possible. You need a certain amount for the end. You do not need to get all of them. So that's definitely good. But as long as you keep jumping, you'll have zero problems. So just keep jumping. And should be enough. There we go. More than enough. Yeah, it's actually fairly tight, but as long as you don't willingly don't do nothing, you know, you'll be fine. So, yeah. Poink. Um, so, yeah, I, I know, like, the last couple episodes I've been complaining about, like, how are people supposed to find these secrets? And as I was like, oh, I should have probably gone down there. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, as I, I was, I was uh, getting ready for this, uh, this episode, I accidentally went into Cranky's... I was going to say Cranky's Cabin, but it's like a museum thing. And I forgot that he gives you hints. Totally forgot about that. Um, that he'll give you hints about certain things. So that's that's why people know about this stuff. Uh, and that's how we were able to figure out as kids without Nintendo Power. Is that they they lay little hints. So that was just me being like, Oh, this is not possible. How do people do this without player's guides and the internet? Even though the internet wasn't really widely available yet. But that's how. Ah, shit. Well, time to die. <laughs> that's how I get when I was a kid, I was like, well, I missed a thing, time to die and go back and get it. But yeah, so that makes sense of why um, I was able to figure out some of the stuff out when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure some of it was Nintendo Power, even though I didn't have Nintendo Power at that time uh, period when Donkey Kong Country 2 was coming out. But I gotta be careful, I gotta remember where this is. Take a nice light jump. So I'm just gonna be a little quiet. It's after this ghost, it's the next ghost. Or I didn't even know there was a ghost at the time. I keep doing that by mistake. Okay, and end of ghost, and it'll be right here, I think. Yeah, right there. Ah, come on! Well, die again. If I don't get it this next time, I'm just gonna fast forward to when I get it, I guess. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty spooky jump there. You really gotta time that correct. Oh geez, that is fast. Oh god. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> ha, oh, ha, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh wow. That was... That's uh, that's tough for an old guy like me. Holy crap. But that was it. That's got to be the last one. There's only three in this level. Uh, and all we have left is the DK barrel. Or sorry. The DK coin. Which I know exactly where it is. And again, is one of the most clever DK barrels name. I think this might be my favorite level in the game. Everything about it is... It just screams cleverness. Everything about it. All all of the bonus levels are a lot of fun. Um, the idea of the level itself is fun. All the bonus levels are hidden in a fun way. And the DK coin is also hidden away very cleverly right here at the very end. That's why it sticks out in my mind so much, just right here. What a great idea. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I, I think this is my favorite level in the game. Just awesome. I want a life. Oops. <laughs> Missed that diamond. And boink, there we go. My goal is to get the 99 lives by the end of the game. I don't think I will. 61's pretty good though. I'll probably get to like 80, because we're definitely in the part of the game where lives are starting to to go. Uh, Gusty Glade. They're starting to get uh, harder to get, and they're easier to lose. So this is Gusty Glade. It's a fairly difficult level, all about wind. First, we want to get Radley here, which makes a lot of the level a lot, a lot easier. And I'm pretty sure the game has uh, the level has like a the um, the signpost is like, no, Radley's allowed. And you're like, wait, where was Radley, though? 
Oh, shit. Oh, God. Think about Riley, though. You can jump like crazy, but it's also really hard to control him sometimes. I'm gonna get off him for a second here. How do I get off? There we go. Shit. Oh, I got the K. <laughs> That's okay with me. <laughs> I'm so funny. But he's got that mid-air jump thing. Um, you, like, jump off... Well, like, walk off a ledge. Like, bounce off of a ledge, and then you can still do a jump. Which is super helpful in a level like this. Remember this level having a really annoying DK coin, though? If you forget to do a jump beforehand, you can't go back and get it. So, we're gonna be, uh, kind of careful. Okay. Oh, jeez. I try to, like, reposition Rattly, and then I sort of go back, but I forget that the... the Thing is gonna go back, like the, the wind is gonna go back. Oh my gosh. Super jump! Ooh. Oh my god. So like, at least that's, you're still able to do that with two Kongs, you know, just put Dixie on your on your back and just toss her up. Was that destroy all the enemies or find the stuff? But it doesn't matter, Mosquito. Mosquito, oh god. Nope. <laughs> I think I jumped off Radley there at the end too. Okay, I didn't. That's, well, pff, that's easy enough. Was it just find the stuff? Okay, good. I'm just gonna run for it. I'm, take, I'm gonna, not gonna take care of the dragonflies in my famous mosquito way. That was way easier that way. 55. 55 crumb coins. Little random thing about the crumb coins. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. Oh, oh, I want that. Yeah. Three lives. Absolutely take that. Um, oh, shit. That was so stupid to me. Um, the crumb coin. Next time we see a crumb coin, kind of pay attention to it. When I was a kid, and it still looks like this to me now as an older... An older kid of 34. <laughs> um, but it's clearly a Kremlin. You know, that that much makes sense to me. Careful here with the wind. Um, it looks like a Kremlin. Kremlin with a... Like, it looks like a, a backwards baseball cap. I think it's supposed to be like some sort of... Um, like a helmet of some sort. But I've always thought it looked like a, a baseball cap. So next time we look at it, I'll have some time left over, I think. So you can uh, take a look at it. Ah, shit, that was stupid me. Oh, that came back to me fast. Oh, oh, it doesn't. It, I thought it, I, I, I thought I thought I could time the spitting out thing, but that's just it doing it by itself. Just pressing the button for no reason. All right, we have a lot of time here. Look at it. Is it like an army, like an army helmet? Because to me, it's because it's got that like dark part on the back. So to me, it's always looked like a backwards baseball cap, even though I know that's not what it is. But whatever, that's <laughs> one of Phil's dumb noticing things. And it's funny because like, there's a lot of like, because sprites were like fairly limited back in the NES and SNES days. Do I want that? No, no I don't. Just nothing really, okay good. Um, sprites were fairly limited back in the NES and SNES days. Um, now that HDTVs are a thing, um, it's a lot easier to see those sprites. So what used to look like something, this is where I was talking about, I think. Yeah. There's the DK coin. Yeah, I didn't forget it. I used to die a lot more in this level. Jeez. Um, I'm terrified right now. Okay. Oh, nice. That's it. We did it. I'm just going to double check up here. Uh, but now that you have HDTVs and stuff, you can kind of see everything the way it was kind of meant to be. Um, or some ga other games might have been um, a fun level. Parachute Panic. Which is a great plan word, parrot shoot. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, some some games might have been like relying on the blurriness of like older TVs to like hide specific things, like mistakes or whatnot. And now that we have HD TVs, it's very easy to see like mistakes if there are any. Though that being said, I really like to point out how good looking the Donkey Kong Country games look on an HD TV in full HD. Like they still look really good. All right, so this is Parrot Shoot Panic. We have a, a I don't know if this is Squawks or a different actual character but you cannot actually fly upwards you will slowly fall like a parachute like a parachute but a parrot that's the joke ah um you can go faster by holding down or or go like this is normal speed this is holding up it's going down uh, and basically the entire level is a drop and speedrunners on this level are awesome because they will just straight up fall right and that's really cool it's ah jeez oh this thing up there well shit I want to get that, so I'm gonna die. Um, yeah, you don't—they just fall without without the parrot, without squawks. It is just so cool and super fast and really well done and fun. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I'm no fun. <laughs> the end. Because I think you can just let go anytime you want. Pretty sure, like, yeah, you can just do it anytime you want. So, I guess if you're in a hurry, and you know you can make it through without like getting hurt. Go for it. Uh, I'm just gonna go not slowly. I'm gonna go pretty fast here, actually. Okay, and now I'm gonna see if I can do something up here. 
Oh, no. Nope. It just lets me go. And I can't... There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? I didn't know that. Cool. You can bypass the honey. We're doing that. Is there nothing up there? What's the point of this? Oh, well, it's probably something that I've missed, so I'm just going to keep going. We'll know by the end of the level if I've gotten everything with... Uh, I know I got the DK coin. Now it's just whether or not I get the uh, bonus levels. And we'll know at the end with the exclamation mark near the um, the name of the level. Which is such a good idea. Um, Donkey, Kong, Don the Donkey Kong Country 3. <laughs> words, man. Words are hard. Um, shit. Uses a different method. Um, I think it also does that. Ah, damn it. Won't die on purpose. Um, it uses a flag kind of thing. Instead of like jumping onto like a, a target like you can in this game, it's a, a flagpole. And whoever you beat the level with uh, gets the color of the flagpole. Similar to like in Mario 3, if Mario or Luigi beat the level, it's either Mario or Luigi uh, who gets the little M icon or the L icon. Uh, anyways, if you um, if you get the DK coin, then there's like an additional like gold stripe on it. And if you... I'm serious, how do I... How am I supposed to get that? I'm going to just like stay on this side and just like hold to the right. Nope, nothing. Weird. That's super odd. Um, and if you've gotten all the, um, the bonus levels, then the flag, like, really waves very nicely. But if you didn't, then it just kind of, like, it's, it's very limp, you know what I mean? Ah, shit, come on, Phil. Better than that. Okay, stay on the left. No, not that right part yet. Oh! Oh, I just made that. I can't believe I pulled that one off, to be honest. Find the token. Is it downward? Oh, it's upwards. Here we go, we got green squawks. Again, I'm not sure if that's a different character or not. Anyone out there who knows if uh, this is squawks and the other one's a different actual character, please tell me. Uh, I'm very curious about that, because it's a kind of interesting thing. I mean, the color's there, obviously, to, to indicate that there's something clearly different about this version of squawk, or this parrot, or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, I want to go here. Oh shit, that, that hurt me? Really? So it's it's all about the top of the parrot, it seems. Well, damn. Well, damn. We haven't even gotten <laughs> the midway point yet. I'm going to meet you down there, guys. And I just found a secret. I was just like, oh. Weird. Huh. So it's not like a secret area with um, like a bonus level. It's just a secret area. But that must be how I get the K in this. Okay, cool. And I'll meet you back to where I was, guys. Alright, close enough to where I was. I need to hit the timer with my uh oh yeah, we're we're, we're where I was. Uh, I need to hit the timer when uh when I when I go, oh I'll see you in a bit, guys. I don't wanna my timer to overshoot and that way I have to shit uh I have to guess like how long twenty minutes is. So I have to like choose a place. I guess I could just pause, that way I can hit the button, but I choose a place where it's like I can safely press the button without like getting hit or anything. But yeah, I guess I could just press pause. <laughs> just being silly. Oh, me should be on group. Oh, and so is Gloopy. Probably someone outside, that's all. Oh, shit, what's up there? Gloopy was down here with me, actually, uh, this time, because she wasn't, uh... Yeah, time to give up a guy. Um, she's not doing super great right now. She has a, an ear infection, so she's got her... She's got a cone on. So we have a cone kitty and a, a dome dog. Poor thing. Um... Yeah, poor thing is is her her, her ears all red, and, and I guess that's a normal thing for um, floppy eared dogs that that uh, they get ear infections fairly easily, which is weird because like Mishka like super doesn't, even though she is a floppy eared husky. So, but she's doing okay. She's like not in a lot of pain. Um, she doesn't seem to mind the cone actually. She's a uh, like Mishka hates the cone, like really really doesn't like it, uh, and like whines about it and. Ah, oh, frick, that's a tight squeeze. Hi, Kloopy. Uh, every so often, Kloopy will, like, just shake like that, you know, just because it's probably not a fun feeling. But she doesn't whine about it. She She's still super mobile, um, which is kind of what's impressive to me. Um, she runs aside a lot and doesn't seem to care that the cone's on her, so she's still pretty happy. My happy little girl. Hey, right, Kloopy, come on up. Back on the couch. I'm just going to move her pillow for it. Give me one second. What up? You know you have a dog and you're like you're like up up and you're like patting the couch and they just like look at your hand like I don't know what you mean and then you stop and you're like oh I'll jump on the couch now do I want that come on there we go controllable barrel 
while. A lot of, like, non-bonus level secrets in this level. It's also <laughs> taken me a long time, even though it's just a, a drop down. Whew. These are tight squeezes, guys. Holy crap. Oh, jeez. You do not want to avoid the other squawk. So that, that means there's more than one squawk on screen at a time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. This is not an easy level. I don't really care about the G. But I got it anyways. By mistake. Oh. I am... That's enough excitement for, for one day. <laughs> I just want to beat the level. What's over here? There we go. Is there anything in here? No. Okay. Holy crap. Yeah, like I was saying, this is definitely the hardest world other than the secret world, in my opinion. Even the next world, which is the last traditional world, is, I don't think, as hard as this world. Um, we have Funky, or Swanky, sorry, we've got Funky as well, we've Clubba, and we got our last regular level, Web Woods, which, guess who's gonna be there? Guess who's part of Web Woods? Love that smog effect. Very cool. Also, the music for these worlds are great. I'm disappointed we don't get another, um, like, ghost library. I think that might be the only ghost library level in the game. I'm not, I'm not, like, 700% sure on that, but Frig... I'm also a little surprised I've only gotten 90 friggin... Are you gonna come down here? No. Ah, jeez. I'm actually surprised I've only gotten like 90 um, banana coins. I would have thought by now I would have gotten a bunch of them. Anything in there? No. What's the point of this? All right, whatever. Is there, was there a secret over here? Like, why give me a crate? Oh, for, for right here, I bet. Shit. Oh. I want that, definitely. I'm gonna not use it on you though. I'm gonna go down here and see if I can use it against this. No, I can't. Well, another banana coin. Something up there too. Jeez, this level is very multi layered. That's gonna kill me if I go down there, I bet. I wish I had Dixie. Oh, well, we're gonna try that again, I guess. This will, um,. It's going to be a long level. I remember this level being fairly long and fairly difficult, so I apologize if we're going to go over time. We only have two and a half minutes left anyway, so we're probably going to. I cannot believe that happened. Cannot believe it. Don't believe it. It didn't happen. Didn't happen. Fake news. Just going to keep going. Just going to keep going. And smack. Is there something there? I really feel like there is. I'm going to just... I'm being all paranoid. That's my problem, I'm paranoid. Everyone's out to get me. They're hiding secrets from me. It's because of video games that I think that everyone's hiding something. <laughs> um, can I even get up there? Oh yeah, oh yeah, easily. Bam, Oh, nice, two lives, blump, blump. <laughs> Which makes up the two lives I lost while trying to get here. And I'm gonna avoid that door. Oh. Well then. <sighs> Game's trying to make me look bad. But it doesn't need to. I make myself look bad. So I don't need you, game, to try all the tricks. The tricksies against all my viewers making me look bad. They're like, we don't want Phil to look good playing this game. We want all his viewers to think that he's a friggin' idiot. Jokes on you, Donkey Kong Country. They already know that. Oh god! <laughs> Why did the cobweb disappear so fast? Like, like, why did... It's weird how sometimes they go really quickly, sometimes they don't, and I don't really know why. And now I'm all paranoid and scared of everything. Ugh. So yeah, this is a... Um, it's obviously a horizontal level, but it's got a lot of verticality to it, which it means a lot of things can randomly be hidden. Which is not always fun when you're trying to go a little faster and you're not 100% sure where everything is. But I have already hit the... Um, Midway points, that's definitely good. Is that DK coin, please? Nope. Banner coin. The DK coins are always the hardest thing for me, so they're the, they're the things I definitely want to find. Probably a really random spot, too. Can you go up? No, okay, good. Oh, now I can go up. Thing is, I need to go, like, up and down, because I don't want to miss something that was, like, off-screen, you know what I mean? So nothing here, so... I keep going. Oof. Okay. And I'm always afraid there's something like down there. Or 
shit. Yeah, got it there. Okay, nothing here. Anything here? No. We're we at the bottom? Yeah, we're at the bottom. Oh, God. Just trying to take it a little bit more easy, guys. That's what I do. Because I take it easy. I'm chilling the blanks. Oh, God. But then everything gets all crazy and I become thrilling the blanks. I think I'm so funny. <laughs> Apologies if you don't think that I'm funny, but I mean, you're the you're the fool who tuned in, not me. <laughs> Who's the fool? The fool who makes foolish videos or the fool who watches the fool making foolish videos? Question of the day. <laughs> Who's the fool? Oh god. What's over there? Oh, I remember this. This is actually really cool. I need to get out of the way of these friggin' whatever they're called. They actually might be called squawks, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a slow one. And we're just gonna follow it all the way back. Cool idea. Great idea. The idea that uh, an enemy can be made to, like, they can make the bonus levels themselves is just a good idea. Smack. Love that. Great idea. We are running so out of time. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But not a big deal. Just means extra fill time. With fill. That's why it's called extra fill time. Yeah, hurry up a little bit too. Because this bonus level doesn't give me a million bajillion seconds. Oh, I had plenty of time actually. Good for me. Someone's in that DK coin, that damn DK coin. No idea where it is. No oh god, why? Why did they disappear early? That was really dumb of me, but whatever. Is that the bottom right here? It is. Could afford to go up. Ah, come on. Oh, I'll meet you back here, guys. Alright, that's pretty much back to where I was. Yeah, the I find the wood levels are the hardest style of levels. That with the Bramble Scramble style levels. And there's one more style of level we haven't seen yet that I also think are usually pretty difficult. Careful. Oh my gosh. Okay. And another one like this. Get you guys out of the way. Yes, I want you all dead. Okay. Cool. Ah, I got... Same idea, I guess. Which is interesting. Nice. Easy enough. At least the bonus levels are easy to find because they're just... They're really pointing them out to you. But I guess I guess at that point it's more about skill than hunting it down. And... One more. There we go. Nice. 60. 60 crime coins. I think it's 15 crime coins um, to, uh, to, to Clubba. I think his name is Clubba. Um, to, uh, boink. Oh, the G, nice. To, to enter the, the secret world. So clearly a one-up balloon here and here. Be very careful. It's right after the banana. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Yes! All right. Oof. Well, I'm filling the blanks. And that was awesome. I can't believe we got that. Let's double check to see if I got all the bonus levels in this level first before we move on. Come on. Ah, nice. I'm filling the blanks, and I'll see you guys next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.